The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 13. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on October 19, 1975, in Durban, South Africa. Suddhannam maya sushtam guna karma vibhavasa Prasa kattaram api maam vidhi akattaram abhayam This is a verse from Bhagavad Gita. Fourth chapter, text number 30. Krishna it, the whole Bhagavad Gita is Bhagavat, means the Supreme Personality of God. The Gita spoken or sung. <coughs> Gita means spoken by the Supreme Personality of God, Bhagavad Gita. Just like we speak, similarly, God also speaks. We hear, God also hears. We eat, God also eats. Everything, as we do, God, Krishna, or the Supreme Personality of God, He also does. The difference, difference is, that if he does unlimitedly, we do limited. The functions are the same, but his functions, his activities are unlimited and our functions are limited. Why so? No, because we are part and parcel of God. Mamai Vamsa Jiva Bhuta, Jiva Loki Sanatana. We are part and parcel of God. The example is, uh, describe this finger, it is part and parcel of my body. So the strength of the finger is not as big as the whole body strength. It's very easily understood. The bodily strength is different, different from the finger strength. Uh, the finger is also part and part, part and parcel of the body. If I say, if you ask what is this, if I say it is my body, so there is no mistake, it is part of the body. But it is not the whole body. The whole body is different. Therefore, God and the living entity, they are the same quality, but quantity is different. So, in the Vedas, the description is there about God and ourselves. Nitya, Nityanam, Chetana, Chetana, Nam, Eka, Jog, Vunam, Vidhati, Kaman. What is God? God means He is the chief, Nitya. Chief nitya means eternal. Nityanam. There are millions and millions, unlimited nityanam. This is plural number. That we are living in. We are also nitya. We are also eternal. And God is also eternal. But He is the chief eternal. Nitya, Nityana, 
Chetana Chetana Nam. He is also living entity. We are also living entities. But he is the chief living entity. So what is the difference between the chief and ourselves? And the difference is, ekaja bhaunam vidhati kamaam. There are two chiefs, two channels. One is uh, two channels and two chetana means uh, living being, two living quality. So the singular number is maintaining the plural. Ekaja bhaunam. We, we living entities, we are pura number. Many. Jiva bhava sabhigya sa anantaya kalpa. Jiva, just like the sun and the sun sun. What is the difference? The difference is, you see the sun glow. That is also number one. And what is the sun sign? The sun sign is a combination of very, very small atomic and bright particles. The sun sign. Molecules. In the science they are called molecules. But there are many millions of small atomic parts combined together. That appears to be sunshine. So, eka, the sun is one, but the sunshine means combination of many small atomic particles. Similarly, God is one, and we part and parcel of God, uh, we are many. Try to understand this. This is authoritative statement. So, quality, the sun and the small atomic molecule, particular, uh, particle, both of them are bright shining. But the sun as it is and the small particle, they are not equal. Equal in quality, not in quantity. This is perfect understanding of ah, philosophy. This is called achinta vira tattva Inconceivably, uh, one and different simultaneous. We are one with God in quality, but we are different in quantity. This is understanding. Because we are partic- particle of God, we have got all the qualities, not all the qualities, they have calculated, big, big century person, we have got seventy-eight percent of the qualities of God in very minute quantity. Uh, say God is self person, and then. So we are, when we are perfect, means without any material contamination, then we possess, we have already, it is now covered. Aham uh, Brahmasmi, I am Brahma, that's a fact, but it is now covered. When it is covered, it is called jiva. Jiva Bhuta. When it is cleansed, then it is called Brahma Bhuta. Brahma. Brahma Bhuta, that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Na Sutati Nakankati. Samas Sarvesu Bhutesu Madhapati Ravati Param. We are now Jiva Bhuta. Jiva Bhuta means. We are the same eternal living entities, pure, but somehow or other we have come in contact with this material nature. This problem. This child, this child. 
This is called Brahma Bhuta. We are now covered by the material energy, just like we are covered now by the Saturn core differently. But if we open our Saturn core, we are human beings. Similarly, we are part and parcel of God. Now we are covered by this material body, subtle and growth. Subtle material body is mind, intelligence, and ego. And gross material body means five elements, heart, water, air, fire, ether. So this is our situation. So all we living entities, those who are within this material world, there are so many. Just like you can see so many planets, in each and every planet and stars, there are living entities. Sarvaga. Don't think that only God has favored this planet full with living entities and others are simply empty, so water. That is not the fact. They do not know it. They have no perfect knowledge. They say the only this, our three planet, is full of living entities. No. Everywhere. That description we will get from Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto, that is the big description of the, all the planets and what kind of living entities are there. So some of them are described in this Bhagavad Gita. So Bhagavad Gita is the perfect knowledge. We are now materially contaminated. So you can say what is the wrong if you are materially contaminated. What is the wrong? That is our lack of knowledge. We cannot understand what is the wrong. The wrong thing we take as pleasing. This is the disease. First of all, we must know whether we are happy in this material world. But we have no intelligence. Mūrha. We have been described as Mūrha. Just that there are three kinds of miserable conditions. Always. Uh, this boy is finding me. Why? There is little miserable condition here. We are feeling too hot. Uh, so again, if you go outside, you may feel too cold. So either inside or outside, you are in miserable condition. This is called adhyatmik. Then adhibhautik, just like we tried to stop the child disturbing. So the child is another living entity. I am like another living entity, but she is causing some disturbance. Not the child, there are other living entities. In your country, of course, it is very less. In our India, it is very prominent. Mosquitoes, flies, bugs, they deep trouble. Or some enemy or some other animal attacks you. This is called adhubhautik, adhyatik, adhibhautik, then adhidvaivik. Adhidvaivik means all of a sudden there is earthquake or famine or too much rain or no rain. Very uh, weak, man, it is, we have no control over it. So there are so many, these are the big heading of miserable condition. Adhyatik, adhibhotik, adhidvaivik. And there are many, many other 
uh, the categories. And ultimately, as Krishna points out, Janvamatya Jarabhyadi Dukha Dushanudam You may have solved all other problems. Very good. But what about your birth, death, disease and old age? These are the intelligent questions. We have to answer, we have to make solution. Then you say that this material world is very nice. But if you are always faced with so many problems and still you say that material world is very nice, so what you ask? Foolish. Do not know what is the meaning of pleasure. Anandamaya abhyasat. God is anandamaya. Always full of pleasure. You will see, you will see Krishna's picture, you see so many pictures. Arandaman. He is sitting down on a small rock and enjoying the association of the small animals. You see. They are also coming to Krishna. Uh, simply by touching him, they are feeling, feeling blissfulness. And Krishna also embracing. Yes, come on. So this is Anandama. Both of them are enjoying. Krishna as a child in the lap of Mother Jasuda enjoying. Then Krishna as a friend of Radharani is enjoying. So you will find all this Krishna enjoying. This is Vindama. So we are part and parcel of God, Krishna. So we also must be feeling enjoy. Eh? Why we are so much distressed? Adhati, Adibhati, Adidvi. This question should arise. If this question does not arise, then we are as good as cats and dogs. The cats and dogs never inquire. Cat will never inquire that why I am starving, why I am dying, uh, why everybody chases me, I have to go out, the dog also. So even the human form of life, we remain blind without seeing the problems of life. And still we say we are very much joyful, enjoying life. Where is your enjoyment? There is no enjoyment. We are foolishly thinking that are enjoying life. That enjoyment life means a little sex enjoyment. That's all. That is also very abominable. Janamaitanadi grihami visukham mitucham. Very abominable happiness. We don't want to discuss it. But the effect of sense enjoyment is suffering. Tritpanta neha kripana bahu dukha bhai. Illicit sex or legal sex. It is followed by so many miserable conditions. That everyone we can understand. Simply we have to become sober. Then we will understand this material existence is not at all good. Not at all. Then, as human beings, as we are trying to solve our problems, uh, the real problem we have to solve. And uh, why we are in material condition and miserable condition? Because we have got this material body. Uh, this is the problem, real problem. Asan lapi asa deha. This body is temporary. It will not exist forever. But so long it will exist, it will give trouble. This is a fact. So long we continue in this material body, you will have to suffer. But we have no intelligence. 
Uh, we see that we are like cats and dogs. They, uh, cats and dogs, they also eat, we also eat. They sleep, we also sleep. And they have sex, we have also sex. And they defend, we also defend. The business finished. No, the business is not finished. Because you are human being, you have got advanced intelligence than the cats and dogs. You should know analytically what are the miserable conditions of life and try to solve the reason. That is interesting. And if we remain satisfied like cats and dogs, so I have got something to eat, I have got some nice place to sleep, and I have got also some other sex for enjoying sex life. And I defend with so many weapons, uh, latest nuclear weapons. No, Shastra says these things are, uh, manufacture these things and maintain by the cats and dogs. Ahara nidra bhaya maithanancha samanna maithat kusubhina rāma. This is common formula between the animals and the man. But he have got another problem. How to solve this material position that is required by you. If you do not try to understand what is your problem, and if you do not try to solve them, then you are no better than the cats and dogs. This is the Shastri Indian. So how to organize the human society so that we may not be called the death for cats and dog society? That we must know. If we keep our society only for the purpose of better eating, better sleeping, better sex life, and better defense, then you don't improve. That is the business of cats and dogs, I mean ants. They also know how to eat, how to sleep, how to have sex, and how to defend. So our business does not finish there. Our business is more business that if I am eternal, as God is eternal, then why I am subjected to birth and death? This is real. This is called Brahma Jigyasa. The Vedanta Sutra, the Vedanta philosophy begins from this inquiry. Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This human life is meant for inquiry for the absolute truth. What is the ultimate truth of life? Uh, janma Jataha. So, uh, when we forget completely our real problems of life, that is animalism. So, uh, that animalism, when in human society, the animalism is prominent, simply living like animals. That is called dharma sadglani deficiency in the matter of dharma. Therefore, in human society there is uh, some sort of religious system. It does not matter what is that religion. Maybe Hinduism or Christianism or Mahavadanism or Buddhism. In the civilized human society there is some conception of religious principle. Without religious principle, we are cats and dogs. Because in the cat society, dog society, there is no such thing as church, mosque, or temple, or synagogue. We live naked and bark, that's all. So if we simply leave and try to become naked like the cats and dogs and bark, then where is the difference? Where is the difference? No difference. So we must take to religious system. That is human. You take any religion system, but you must know what is the aim of religion. Not that simply profess 
I am Christian, I am Hindu, I am Muslim. But what is the purpose of becoming religious? That you must know. That is intelligence. Simply don't be proud by saying that I am Christian, I am Hindu, I am Muslim. Uh, that's all I have got some type of designation. Uh, but Bhagavad says that system of religion is perfect. What is that? Savai Bhunsan Paru Dharma Jato Bhakti Radho Khaji That religion, that system of religion is perfect. Savai Bhunsan Paro, Paro means perfect, without any defect. What is that? Jato Bhakti Radho Khaji By which, by becoming follower of such religious system, system, if you become a devotee of God, that is perfect. Uh, it does not say that you become a Hindu or you become a Muslim or you become a Christian or Buddhist or any other thing. It is very liberal. So whatever system of religion you accept, there is no harm. That's all right. But see the result. What is the result? Jato bhakti rado kali. Whether you have understood God and whether you have become a lover of God, then your religion is perfect. Simply for stamping that I am Christian, I am Hindu, I am Muslim, there is no profit. That is also explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Dharma-sānu-sthita-pumśā Vishyakshena-kathāsuja Nodpādhāya-dhara-tingi-jadī-sramayevahī-kevalam Dharma-sānu-sthita, whatever religion you profess, it doesn't matter. And you are carrying out very nicely. According to the religious system, you are following the rules and regulations and doing everything. Dharma-sānu-sthita-pumsa, by carefully executing religious principles. Vishyakshena-kathāsuja, if you do not become anxious to understand more and more about God, Vishyakshena-kathāsuja, Vishyakshena means God, kathāsuja, nūtpāda, edhiru-tīngyadi, if you do not become attached to hear about God more and more, then it is samayi vaikyur, simply waste of time. Simply waste of time. Because religion means dharman to saad saad bhagavat pranita. Religion means the order given by God and you follow. This is the simple definition of religion. Other ritualistic ceremonies, formulas, going to the church or going to the temple. These are details. But real dharma means, saman sabhastan sabhadharma really and means to abide by the orders of God. That is really. Dharma, sasa, bhagavata. You cannot manufacture religion and what is actual religion? If you follow, then you are religious. The actual religion is the God's order. Then everyone follows some principle of religion to understand God. And in our Vedic system, the only purpose of life is to understand God. Atharva Brahma Jijyas, in the human form of life, we have no other business. No other business that cats and dogs are also doing. And we are also doing. That is automatic. It is not that other animals they are starving. They are also eating. And we are also eating. But the facility is the other animals, lower than the human being, 
they haven't got to do any business for any profession or go from one country to another to earn livelihood. That is their advantage. And our disadvantage is that we are trying to find out better food stuff and uh, rotating all over the water, and we are still not getting. So their advantage is better. The birds, the small birds, in the morning, just early in the morning they will rise up and they will chat and they will go out because they are sure that our food stuff is ready anywhere. And that's a fair. They go to any tree, what the bird will eat, four, five small fruits. But there are innumerable fruits in one tree, and there are innumerable trees. Similarly, take any animal, even the elephant. In Africa, there are so many elephants, eh? millions of elephants. And they eat at a time forty kg, and we supply food. They have no business, they have no profession, how they are eating. Hmm? Therefore, I have already quoted this basic uh, quotation, Eko Jarabahunam Vidadhati Kama. So far your living conditions are concerned. What you are, human being, you are only 400,000 species. And other animals, there are 8 million. So if eight million forms of body can be maintained by God, the four hundred thousand forms cannot be maintained. Uh, he maintains. He maintains is a fact. Uh, we are simply unnecessarily wasting our time. Where is food? Where is shelter? Where is sex? Where is the bed? So, do that, there is no objection. But do not forget God. Then it is perfect. Otherwise, some of you will simply waste of time. So, because the whole world now has forgotten God, we have started, not we have started, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the see, the statues of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, five hundred years ago, uh, seeing the fallen condition of the living entities, uh, especially the human society, he started this Hare Krishna movement. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, five hundred years ago, he appeared in Navadvip, a district in Bengal, and the station is Sixty miles from Calcutta, we have got our very big temple there. You are invited to come there, stay there, try to understand the philosophy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have already written Chaitanya Charita Amrita, thirteen volumes, your son, this book, you will find. So, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he is also incarnation of Krishna, but he is very liberal. Namo Mahavadanaya. Krishna Prema Pradayate. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Navini. Gauratti Se Namaha. Uh, he is Krishna. Uh, Krishna came, he left behind him this instruction of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Jada jada hi dharma sablani bhavati bha, tada apvanam sijama. We can consult Bhagavad Gita at any time and we can associate with Krishna. Krishna and Krishna's instruction, non different. When you read Bhagavad Gita, you'll, if you read very seriously, you'll feel Krishna is present before you and his instruction. But unfortunately, although Krishna personally appeared and he left behind him this Bhagavad Gita to be read by the human society and make his life progressive and be liberated from this material condition of life, we do not care for it. Therefore, 
श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स है वो अगेन ही अपियर एज ए डिवोट नॉट एज कृष्णा इज कृष्णा बट ही अपियर एज ए डिवोट ही ऑफ कृष्णा टू टीच एस हाउ टू बिकम डिवोट ऑफ कृष्णा अगेन दिस मूवमेंट इज स्टार्टेड to enlighten the human society how to come to the original position of krishna consciousness so our request is that this movement that is there it has come to your country in south africa and uh, you are welcome uh, so try to understand this movement how much it is important it is not a sentimental movement neither a so called it is actually religious movement but not so called religious movement simply some sentiments and formal formalities no it is practical application in life uh, and you see practically how by this movement all over the world different section of people from different nationality different religious group they are feeling warm one man simply for god just try to see the potential of the movement uh, so take it very serious uh, take it very serious very seriously and uh, you have to take it seriously otherwise you are doomed otherwise you are doomed because you do not know how the laws of nature is working upon you you feel that you are under the laws of nature that you cannot avoid that is not possible but you do not know how the laws of nature is working that is your ignorance that information you get from bhagavad the beginning of bhagavad gita says तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति धीर सत्सन होती दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन देह नस्मिन यथा देहि कौमार जो मन जला तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति एज इन दिस लाइफ वी हैव सीन आई वाज अ चाइल्ड आई वाज अ बेबी आई वाज अ बॉय आई वाज अ यंग मैन नाउ आई एम ओल्ड मैन सो आई चेंज सो मेनी बॉडी and but i know that i was a child i was a boy but where is that body where is that child's body where is that um, young man's body where is that boy's body this is gone now i've got another body therefore it is concluded when this body is finished i'll get another body how you can refute this law i have changed so many bodies Within my experience, therefore, this is also within my experience. When this body, this old body, will finish, I will get another. That is the first instruction of Krishna. So, thabe hantra prapti, you will get another. Now, Krishna says, so thabe hantra prapti, you have to change to another body, but we do not know what is that body. we are not prepared ha it like here i am yeah johannes mark so i know from here i'll have to go to nairobi that i know and we are making arrangement but if as human being uh, one does not know what is going to happen next life then what kind of human being is what is the difference between cat and dog the dog does not know neither he can instruct neither he is able to take the instruct but why the human being should remain like dog this is the problem so we must consult bhagavad gita very regularly try to understand the problems of life and the first problem is that you have to change your body so what kind of change of body you are going to have you must learn it otherwise you are in darkness what is the value of right if you do not know suppose next life i am going to become a dog 
So, what is the value of my becoming this like a prime minister? But they do not know. The science is unknown. Science is known, but people are so poor that they do not take care of. This is the position. So don't waste your time in that way. Try to understand uh, what is the problem of life, how we can uh, come again to the original spiritual life. That is the ultimate solution. Uh, because we are spirit. Krakma stands away. I am now accepting this material body. How I can avoid it? That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. And you find that Janma Karma Vibham me Jujana Tikat. Satta Dehang Punar Janma Naiti Maaneti Kauncha. You are part and parcel of God. You have come from God to enjoy this material world, but you are suffering. But if you want to go back to home, back to Godhead again, then try to understand Krishna. This is the possibility. And there is no difficulty to understand Krishna. Krishna is explaining in the Bhagavad Gita what he is. You read this book very carefully and try to understand Krishna. And as soon as you understand thoroughly Krishna, then Tattva, you have to give up this body. That's a fact. Tatta deham punarajan mananti. Then no more accepting material. Then what happened? Mamiti, Krishna says, he comes to me. Back to home, back to God. That is the solution of life. And everything is described in the Bhagavad Gita. And all the Vedic literature, we have published about hundreds of books. Uh, if you uh, simply read these books regularly, then you will understand. Everything very clearly. And first of all, you try to read Bhagavad Gita as it is. Then the light problem will be solved. Thank you very much. Any question? You have any questions, please before we ask. Why the move? I think I understand why it is necessary that we have a religion. You say that so we can be different to cats and dogs. Why it is necessary that you should know the laws of the state? No. Know the laws of the state. You are living in some state, some under some government. So, why it is necessary that you should know the government's laws? So, you so you must have religion to have proper life. I have already explained. Religion means the law given by God. As you are, you must abide by the laws of the government. Similarly, the supreme government, gods, you must know what is his purpose. Otherwise, you will be misguided. And you will be punished. Just like if you violate the government laws, you are liable to be punished. Similarly, if you violate the supreme government's law, then you will be punished. Yes, yeah. God's law you must know. Uh, this like in the Bhagavad Gita, ultimately God says, the sarva dharman parikpajyamami kam sarva. You just become obedient to me. 
surrender to me. I shall give you all protection. This is the law. So if you become a surrendered soul to God, then your position is very secure. Otherwise you will suffer. Do you follow the essence of any religion? Is that the law of God? The essence I have already given to surrender to God. What else essence? What is else? The essence is that you surrender to God. You may follow any religious system, it doesn't matter. But whether you know God and whether you have surrendered to Him, that is the essence. If you do not know God, then what is the meaning of your religion? And if you do not surrender to God, if you surrender to your senses only, then what is religion? Simply by rubber stamping religion, that has happened at the present moment. Nobody knows what is meant by religion. And this is the essence of religion, to surrender to God. If you do not know who is God, where you are going to surrender? You cannot surrender to the air. You must know what is God. And what is surrender meaning? Great way. But this is the essence of religion, to surrender to God. Savai Purusha Parva Dharma Jato Bhakti Radokha Ji Ahoi Tukya Pratihata Jena Atma Samprasiya. If you want to be happy, Atma, Suprasanna, then you should be a lover, bhakti, devotee of God. This is the thing. Is the meaning? Read Bhagavad Gita. You understand? He eh? is explaining himself. What do you want more? Suppose if you want to know something about me and I explain to you, I am like this, then where is, where is your division? Where is your division? You can conjecture that Samiji may be like this, my they may be like that, may be like that. And if I say, all right, sit down, I shall explain what I am. Then where is the division? I am not in I am giving this example. Anyone, if you want to know, if that person explains to you elaborately, then where is your division? To know the person. You say, how can I know God? That is your question. But God is explaining Himself. Why don't you take advantage of it? No, Krishna doesn't say, tathādhā dehāntara prāpti. You will get another body, but that does not mean human body. That will depend on your price. Just like if I say, when your coat is old and torn, you purchase another coat. But that another coat, what kind of coat? That will depend on your price as you are able to pay. Similarly, your activities in this life will decide what body you are going to get next life. What is that incarnation? You are going to get another body, that is reincarnation. Now, what kind of body you are going to get, that will depend on your work. There are eight million four hundred thousand different types and forms of body. So, you are at liberty to work. 
Therefore the direction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. You work like this. Then you get the body like this. So this is risky life. Without knowing the law of God, without knowing how nature is working, how the living entity is getting different types of body, without this knowledge, if we simply keep ourselves on the business of eating, sleeping, sex and defense, like cats and dogs, this is very, very risky life. So our Krishna consciousness movement is trying to save the human society from this risky life and to understand what is God, how he can go back to home, how he can get eternal life. This is our life.